Welcome to the Science Kid. I am your host, Quinn Friedman, and today we're going to talk about one of my favorite topics. Space! Baby. But more specifically, we're going to talk about how we can possibly get to a place with no oxygen, no atmosphere, and worst of all, no showers. What? I like being soapy clean. Space is a weird environment. And without this one piece of technology, astronauts wouldn't be astronauts. If you read the title, you know what we're talking about. We're talking about space. <laughs> just one type of spacesuit. There are many different models, depending on where the astronauts are going and what they're doing. We're going to talk about the few of the most recent spacesuits that have or will be used on super awesome missions. The first spacesuit we're going to talk about is the ACES, or aka the Assured Crew Escape System. Just so you know, all these spacesuits are going to have weird names like this one. This spacesuit is a bright orange color, and many astronauts have worn this suit during their missions. This spacesuit is meant to protect astronauts during launch and during the entry, or when astronauts come back to Earth. These suits only have a 10 to 30 minute oxygen tank and are not meant for spacewalking. Who wants to go to space without being able to jump on the moon? Am I right? These spacesuits have helmet-suited pressurization that protect the astronauts in case of an emergency and if they have to parachute back to Earth. One of the reasons these suits were created for pressure is because of the Challenger. The Challenger was a 1986 space mission that exploded after 73 seconds after liftoff, killing all seven people on board. The next spacesuit is the spacewalking suit. Yay, jumping on the moon sounds fun. This suit is called the EVA, or the extravehicular activity. This spacesuit is very complex and is meant for astronauts to travel our solar system outside of their spacecraft. Ooh, sounds cool. The suit can hold an eight-hour supply of oxygen and can literally be an astronaut's own little bedroom for that period of time. Hot or cool? Not a problem. This suit comes with all the latest gizmos and gadgets, pumps, fans, water circulation, filters, and batteries. You know where the Little Mermaid now wants to go. I've got gadgets and gizmos aplenty. Also, this suit is full of layers of fancy materials to protect the astronauts during their walk. However, scientists keep making new spacesuits to keep up with the latest tech. Like the new Boeing Blue Suit that is only 20 pounds, has a zip-on hoodie helmet, and is super slim and skinny. Or the new SpaceX suit. This suit hasn't been fully announced yet, but my input is it looks like a stormtrooper. See the resemblance? Overall, spacesuits are amazing. I would never really want to be an astronaut but knowing how they can travel hundreds of thousands of miles away into an alien-like universe is truly amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of The Science Kid. If you did enjoy it, which I would enjoy it, make sure to like, comment, and of course subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. And remember, science can always be fun.